Hi, we're back. Our YouTube vlogs, we're back. Sorry, distraction. Last time you guys saw us, I bought a. So last time you guys saw me, I bought a Z6. Oh, why do I keep saying Z650? That's my old bike. I miss it. Last time you guys saw me, I bought a ZX10R. Yes. <sighs> my ADD is not working really good right now. Yeah, I know I'm having issues, buddy. Trust me, I know. Wow, that's a lot of messages. Like, what, what do you know? You know what I mean? Like, that's a lot. I can't concentrate. I really have really bad ADHD, man. Sometimes I just forget what I'm doing in total. Like right now, it's been rolling for what? Like a minute? Come on, focus. Last time I spoke to you guys, I bought a ZX10R, which is kind of crazy. I've ridden it five times max, and I've already dropped it. How I dropped it and how I couldn't pick it up because the bike is so big and so heavy that I literally could not pick it up. And to be honest with you, I've never owned a bike so heavy. So it was just like, it was hard. But it's okay, I've been working out a ton because now I'm going to be a muscle mommy again because I need to be so strong for this bike. I'll show you guys the damages. Uh, go. Ow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging. Stay tuned stick around so i'm going to clean the fish tank are you gonna talk or am i gonna talk we can't both speak at the same time dude okay we would both like to tell you that we are going to clean the fish tank today really quick before we go and do stuff on the bike because this tank is filthy absolutely filthy we need to clean it so let's do it together I'm gonna go get my bucket. Okay, so this is an 85 gallon tank. So it's a lot of water. Maybe he wants to be on top of me? He doesn't. Towels on the floor, check. I got my stool. And I got my bucket and my siphoning stuff. So yeah, the fish go crazy now because they know. These motherfuckers know, watch this. They know that I'm gonna clean their tank right now. This dude has no mercy whatsoever because he bit me one time that I was trying to clean all this and it was insane. He doesn't have any teeth, but he, he chomped out of the water. You see, he sees this, he knows. Scary. I tried to scream to the Oscar to like not bite me, but the dude just fucking scares the shit out of me sometimes. Like every time I put my hand in the water, he thinks that I'm feeding and I'm not feeding all the time. I'm sometimes I'm cleaning, you know? There's probably gonna be a lot of fish nerds here that are like Oh, you shouldn't do it like that, you know, you should use this and don't do that, you're gonna scratch the glass. Listen, I've had tanks since I was 18 years old, and I'm, I'm old, so, um, I may not be a professional, but I have been able to maintain, you know, a little ecosystem going. If I can maintain them living, like, you know, shut the fuck up, politely. I'm kidding, no. Um, any tips you got though, please just leave them in the comments, you know? Just be kind. You ready? I'm not ready. I'm gonna take out my little net. Oh, this guy knows. This is the siphoning tool that I use, and everybody knows how this works, right? You, you, you do a little one, two, and a little suction-y thingy there. Right, you do that, Ooh. and then you. Hey, I got it in the first go. That's good. Usually I do like a little bit. Ah! Usually I do a little bit of water first. It's like 35% of the water, but for right now I just want to like do a little bit. I have to keep watching the bucket so that I know that I'm not um 
gonna overspill, you know what I mean? I'm just making sure. That's the poop water. And see how I feed my plants. To be honest with you, it wasn't that dirty. I think three buckets is gonna be just enough to clean this. I'm clearly not a professional, okay? So don't come at me, man. And then I put some prime. So I always try to keep uh, some of that like dirt in the tank because that's already the bacteria that they have that they've been living in that like is formed. Like it's not good to clean a tank and take out all the water and reset it because you're gonna be resetting the whole ecosystem. So it's, it's, not, it's not good to do that. So I don't have like a hose thing. So I just take the buckets and I just refill it. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I know there should be an easier system to all this, but this is what I do right now. Okay, so I just finished. It's gonna be a little cloudy for right now, but that's okay, cause it needs to settle. But it is done. I need to fix that. So over here we got some brake pads for the front and the rear brakes. Okay, I did it. Eso es todo. Ahí, ready. Ya, va. Espérate, saca el dedo que no puedo ver en el hueco. No está entrando nada. <risa> ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí. Sí, así, así. como lo puso así. Así, así. ¿Ya lo hiciste? Yeah. Well, what a complete freaking shit show. Let me tell you. Like I said, hey, uh, I need you to order this, this, and this to fix my bike, you know, to make it safe for me to ride with Oso. So practically, he ordered the parts, but he ordered the wrong parts. And we basically didn't do anything to the bike. So we were four hours out there. We just changed the clutch and we changed the brakes. And um, we did not need to spend four hours just doing those two things. <sighs> because sometimes life is crazy. Sometimes you want things to go a certain way and it is going to go the complete opposite of where you want it to go. And you have to have like the maturity and the patience to like not freak out about it. Because if you freak out about it, then it's like you're losing double because not only are you losing the time because it's not going your way, you're losing the energy on freaking out. So, you know, there's no point in freaking out. Am I down? Like, do I feel down? Yeah, 100% I feel down. Like, I feel like like kind of like a little bit a little bit like shit but literally what can i do you know it's it wasn't in the books this stuff what happened this sucks all right guys can you see that 6 25 a.m i woke up at five and then sometimes when this happens, I drag Oso along with me to just like get a pup cup and get some um, coffee because 
at this point, if I can't sleep, then I'm just gonna get ready for my day, you know? Because it's like, what else is the point of just staying home, staying in bed, doing nothing? But I've been having such a hard time sleeping. And it's usually when I'm stressing over little things that I, I honestly can't control. I gotta stop doing that. Also, make room for your for your other stuff, Gordo. Here's some, oop, did I hit you? I hit you, I'm sorry. Here's some water, too. You're so silly, boy. You're such a silly boy. Come here. You're so silly. You're so silly. Here. Loco. Why you go down there? Come here. And also and I are gonna have an ASMR in the truck. Wait, let me show them this real quick, okay? Let me show them this. Look look how cute this is. No, 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 wait, wait. I'm gonna give you some, I promise, go over there. I'm gonna give you some, I promise. Let me just show them really quick. Here, sit right here, sit right here. Let me show them really quick, man. Don't be an ass. That's a raccoon. I fucking love you, dude. I fucking love you, dude. Thanks for just being with me all the time and and like not getting annoyed that I want to wake up so early. Oh, esto tiene el el battery tender también. Esa cosa.